Hello, everybody, and welcome to Faith on Friday Extra. This series is all about highlighting people, topics, and businesses that I hope you will find interesting, entertaining, motivating, but always encouraging. And I'm your host, Ricky Smith. Today, I need to introduce you to a phenomenal woman. Her name is Melissa Brooks. Hi, Melissa. Hello. <laughs> she is an army officer. She is a chief warrant officer for, she's been in the army for 24 years. She is a married mother of two. She's been married for 22 years this year. She has two grown children and she is her own business owner. She actually is an independent jeweler with Premier Designs. So needless to say, the woman's got a lot going on. Melissa, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Ricky, for having me. It's my pleasure. I'm excited about this because Melissa, as a woman, we all deal with so many things. We have so much stuff on our plate. And yes. That's why I wanted to talk to you just kind of about that work-life balance because you got a lot going on to include deployments and everything else that goes with being in the military. Thank you for your service, by the way. You're welcome. Absolutely. So talk to me a little bit about your work-life balance. How do you juggle all of this without going crazy? Prayer. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, it's it's definitely a challenge, especially when you do a military. Uh, my husband is also in the military. That's so right. um, having kids is definitely a fine balance. You know, thankfully now our kids are grown. But when my daughter especially was much younger, mm. it was a fine balance. It was challenging. And um, I really just had to pray a lot and depend on God to see all of us through because it takes balance and it takes um, commitment and, you know, a lot of soul searching that you have to do, especially as a mother, because it's not always an easy task to balance your children, your marriage, um, work, and then everything else that goes along with it, the cooking, the cleaning. and Oh, yeah. It. I was going to ask you, so with you all have all that going on, how much crying did you actually do? I'm just asking for a friend. <laughs> you don't want to know. I <laughs> promise you. One one day, many years ago, mm -hmm. um, there is uh, a person in the Bible that used to weep a lot. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, that has to be me because I felt like I was crying all the really? time. Yes, because you, you have that mother's guilt for one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have the guilt of feeling like you've given so much attention to your, your child because mm -hmm. they need you. Sure. But then you also feel the guilt of knowing that you need to also share some of that attention with your spouse that mm -hmm. may not always be as understanding in the beginning of right. having your children. Right. We can mm -hmm. just keep it real about it. Yeah. Um, come on. So, but with the crying, it's a cleansing process. And Is so it? I'm thankful that the crying helped me to get through it, to strengthen me and to just put me in a better place because sometimes it's just necessary. Right. And so mm -hmm. with all of that, and you talked a little bit about guilt, because I know as a mom, you do, you have your guilt because you're working, you have your husband, you got your kids, and then somebody wants to eat again every day. These people want <laughs> right. to eat every day, which I don't understand. You know, how do you deal with the guilt of, because I mean, you have so many balls in the air on the occasions, and maybe it's just me, that one of them balls get lost under the couch. How do you deal it's with the guilt same. of, how do you deal with the guilt of, I, I, need, I can't do it all? How do you do that? Mm -hmm. I think you have to prioritize and figure out what's most important. And then when you're able to do that, then everything else will either fall in place or it'll fall off. And wow. you just have to be okay with being okay with that. Mm -hmm. That everything may not fall into place as you would like for it to. Right. But with God's grace, hopefully you can come back and pick that up a little bit later and, you know, just move on with life because it's not perfect. It may not always be pretty. Everything may not always be on time. Right. I, I'm telling you, you have to pray a lot, cry a lot, pick yourself up. And right. thankfully, you know, I've had some great support systems. Mm. That's the other thing. I was going to say, that's important. Not, yes, I could not be in the military as long as I have. I, I could not probably even have, you know, 
my sanity in sure. the marriage as good as I have it without having great friends. Um, I had a village for these 24 years in the military. I, I, I promise I had a village, including you and your spouse as well, because um, your children get acquainted with who you are acquainted with. That's true. And they are also able to feel that love. So there's been many people that are still in my lives, although my kids are grown now, mm -hmm. they know who are part of the village to make things happen. Sure. Yeah. I and I can that. honestly attest that um, your daughter, whom I called Agnes forever, just because she's the <laughs> cutest little thing. When I met her, I think she was like six, six or seven. She was just my cutest little bestest friend ever. Mm -hmm. And I remember when mm -hmm. she went to college and came back, there was a contest going on and, and we were judging and she didn't win. <laughs> she was so upset with me. She was really upset with you for a long time. Yes. yes, she was. Because like you said, that whole village thing, because she knew I had loved her for such a long time. That is so yes. cool. So let me ask yes. you this. With all mm -hmm. of the things you got going on, your job, your spouse, your kid, your house, your business, everything else, how and when do you make time for you? Because you look amazing. I would look a frazzled mess right now <laughs> if I had going on all that you got going on. How do you make time for yourself and pull it all together? I don't really think about it. Sadly. Really? If we Wait a minute. Honest, you look like that without thinking about it? I need to up my game. <laughs> <laughs> no, not in that way. I mean, okay. um, that I probably don't do it enough. Mm. So it's easy for us to put a mask on sure. to get through the day and to do what we have to do because that's what's expected of us. Um, because you want to be presentable. You want to make sure you're putting your best foot forward. Um, even in my job, you know, I know that it's important to make sure that, you know, I'm doing my best and I look my best because you want to put, as I said, your best foot forward. But I think as women, we don't take enough time for self care and to put ourselves first because at the end of the day, although you're looking beautiful, you, you may be fragile inside. Mm -hmm. So and your spirit, mm -hmm. yes, yes. So your spirit needs to be fed. Your body still needs to be energized. So um, I don't do enough of the things that I probably would really enjoy doing, but mm -hmm. I do always try to get some type of physical, physical fitness, drink enough water, try to eat right, you know, things right. of, the, of that nature. But um, it's a fine balance as well. Oh my gosh, I, I don't know how you get it done, but I know that there are women everywhere that are literally doing this every day. Yes. And I hope for them that they have a support system, you know, like you and mm -hmm. I do. And and mm -hmm. some other women. I mean, because it, it can be it's it's tough enough being somebody's wife, being somebody's mom, having a full time job and starting a business. But when you're doing all of those things at the same time. Superman ain't got nothing on you. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Melissa, we are getting ready to play a game. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> okay, so this game is all about giving people an opportunity to just get to know you a little better. And the game okay. is called This or That. So okay. I'm basically going to give you the choice of two things. And off the top of your head, you just pick which one you like the best. You ready? Okay. <laughs> all right. McDonald's or Burger King? Burger King. Batman or Captain America? Neither. What? Ooh. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Good night. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Whatever. How have I known you this long and you're not a superhero fan? Moving on. Going to the oh, movies sorry. or movies at home? Um, movies at home. Okay, make the call or send the text. Make the call. Snickers or Three Musketeers? Snickers. Mmm, dressing up or dressing down? Dressing up. Always. Cats or dogs? Neither. <laughs> okay, moving on. Thanksgiving or New Year's Eve? Thanksgiving. Ah, fry it or grill it? Grill it. You almost redeemed yourself, but didn't. Morning <laughs> owl, morning person or night owl? Morning person for sure. And finally, what is your favorite Olympic sport? I would have to say um, gymnastics. 
not bad. I like gymnastics. Okay. So, mm -hmm. you know, we've been friends a long time and this may be it for us because, um, <laughs> Things, but moving on. Hey, everybody, if you all have enjoyed this interview as much as I have, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment on your thoughts for today's message. So, Melissa, what would you like to tell all those women, all the moms that are out there struggling with their work life balance? If I could tell you anything, just know that it's okay and that things will get better. It's not gonna always be the way that it may seem right now. And choose to do something for yourself. It's important that you feel good and you have an opportunity to uplift yourself, whether it's to go to church, read a book, take a bath, take a walk, do it for yourself and know that it's gonna be okay. That is exactly right. It is going to be okay. So ladies and gentlemen, if you know, have a woman in your life, help her out. If you have being that woman with everything going on, like she said, it's okay sometimes not to be okay. And perfect is really not anything that anybody needs to attain. And also to let you know, we will have all of Melissa's contact information put in the description. So if you need to order jewelry, uh, right. yes. Or if you want to talk bad about her non-pick for superheroes, I'm just saying. <laughs> you all, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Extra.